everyone, welcome back. I'm Tammy Jo Shoppit, and this is 365 Cups in 30 Days. And I'm celebrating a 10 year anniversary where I made 365 cups to learn how to throw on the pottery wheel, but I had done those one cup a day for an entire year. All those videos are still here if you wanna check out the channel. And here we are celebrating the month of August, and it was originally meant to be the month of peace, but by the time I got to glazing, uh, these tea bowls were screaming at me to change my theme. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you these tea bowls that have now been renamed the Month of Adventure. Hope you guys enjoy. When I first sat down to make these tea bowls, I was pretty short on time. But the thing was, I had decided that August was gonna be the month of peace. It wasn't simply about creating the 365 cups in the 30 days. By August glazing, I had realized I'm not gonna make it in 30 days time. You guys will see it in 30 days. The task of trying to make it there was just, I'd have to scramble and crash and all the cups would probably turn out terrible, which would break my heart. I decided in August that I would just release it all, change my plan and say, all right, since I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna decide to make the most fun, exciting cups that I would love to have myself. Okay, I had to bring my pottery inside because it is too cold out in my studio and I wanted to think a little more about these pieces. I have a lot of variety on this table that I'm going to be trying to use uh, or at least have in front of me so that I, I think about them. You know, sometimes out of sight, out of mind, I forget all the different wonderful things that I have to use, like those uh, chalk sills, those little pencil things right there. I have, I've had them for so long and I don't usually use them, so I'm going to try everything. Uh, I brought in the underglaze papers that I had used before. And I brought in a bunch of colors. I just threw tons of colors on the palette and then even more inside the bucket. And uh, I'm about ready to get started. And I'm gonna do this until it gets dark because I can, but I probably won't record until it gets dark. So I'll show you these pieces before I put the clear glaze on. This is the mess I've created, isn't it delicious? share with you the results. I did all of these in the house 
and it was very challenging to take video so I wanted to share with you a little bit about what I did on some of the pieces a lot of them I did designs on like this is all under glaze under glaze with a liner under glaze under glaze this has Mako stroke and coat inside and it has flowers on the outside that look something like this which I'm gonna dip glaze some of these have really interesting glazes and I hope they work out. I'm not even gonna tell you what they are. It'd be more fun to just to see the surprise. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is put the ones that are fully glazed into the kiln and then dip glaze the rest of them, start the kiln, and then I'll be ready to rock and roll. Well, they are a representation of my favorites because I have a lot of other favorites up there. This was the most fun I had in glazing any of the cups uh, up to this point. Um, like these right here, I want to share these two right here. It was 53 degrees in my studio and I was freezing and I thought, oh my gosh, I just need to, gl I just need to dip these ones and, and put them in the kiln. And that's exactly what I did. These two right here have no glaze on the inside. So although I love this combo of color, uh, I have to try and glaze these again, put clear glaze on and see how it works out in the next uh, glaze firing I have left to go. Okay. This right here is my first time really glazing anything of significance with the chalk underglazes that I got from Amico. These turned out so lovely. I love the way this looks. These two right here are so my style. This was a really neat optical illusion. I just started making it and I, I had no plan when I started. That led to this one. I think I love this one because it's so abstract. This one's more like art to me. I would hang this on my wall, I think. <laughs> And you know, the interesting thing is this is the black liner from there, like you see on these cups, the black liner. But this right here is the chalk sill pencils. Uh, let me go get one. Yeah. The brown one, it ended up turning brown, but it says it's black. 
but I don't care. I think it looks great. And this one I picked because it represents all the other ones. It has every color on it, but I love these little flowers. I was really happy with that, and it kind of came a little bit from the uh, June cups where I had put the lines around those as well. I, I used it again in this situation. So these are the representations. I hope you enjoyed the slideshow, and pick your favorite. Let me know which one you love. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Thank you.